CV Jetko Popovic Serbian Cyrillic CV Jetko Popovic 1896 to 9 June 1980 was a Bosnian Serb who was involved in the 1914 assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria Topic <laughs> Early life and assassination He was born in what is modern-day Bosnia and Herzegovina. He was an 18-year-old student, studying in Sarajevo when Danilo Ilic recruited him and his friend, Vazo Kubrilovic to help assassinate Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Nikola Pasic, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Serbia, heard about the plot and gave instructions for the three men to be arrested. However, his orders were not implemented and the three men arrived in Bosnia and Herzegovina where they joined forces with fellow conspirators, Gavrilo Princip, Misko Jovanovic and Vaso's brother Velko Kubrilovic. On Sunday 28 June 1914, Franz Ferdinand and Sophie von Chotek were assassinated by Gavrilo Princip. Princip and Nedelko Kabrinovic were captured and interrogated by the police. They eventually gave the names of their fellow conspirators. Mohamed Mehmed Basic managed to escape to Serbia but Popovic, Ilic, Jovanovic, and the Kubrilovic brothers were arrested and charged with treason and murder. All the men were found guilty. Under Austro-Hungarian law, an offender under the age of 20 could not be executed. Nedjelko Kabrinovic, Gavrilo Princip and Trifko Grabas therefore received the maximum penalty of 20 years, whereas Vazo Kubrilovic were sentenced to 16 years and Popovic to 13 years prison at Terezin. Popovic was released when the Allies defeated the Central Powers in November 1918, having served four years of his 13-year sentence. Later life After his release from prison at the end of World War I, Popovic returned to teaching as a professor of philosophy and eventually became curator of the ethnographic department of the Sarajevo Museum, the night before the 50th anniversary of the killing of the Archduke in 1964. Popovic attended a lecture about the assassination in Sarajevo, but did not attend any of the events throughout the city, commemorating the anniversary. He was quoted as saying that he would not have taken part in the assassination had he known it would lead to war, marking the 55th anniversary of the event in June 1969. Popovic, then aged 73, gave an interview recalling the assassination. C. V. Jetko Popovic died in Sarajevo on 9 June 1980 at the age of 84, leaving Vazo Kubrilovic as the sole surviving assassin. Kubrilovic died 10 years and 2 days later on the 11th of June 1990 at age 93. 